Coronavirus floating in the air. Scientists raise concern over coronavirus spread through aerosol. But did you know that virus floating in the air is also a form of colloid? Colloid is a mixture of tiny insoluble particles dispersed or spread out in another substance. Now these particles are called colloidal particles and they must not settle. The size of the colloidal particles can range from one nanometer to one micrometer. To get an idea of how small an object is, let's compare the size of things around us. For example, coronavirus is about 100 nanometers. Bacillus bacteria is about 500 nanometers. Red blood cell is about 7 micrometer in diameter, all measured by electron microscope. Colloid exhibits a Tyndall effect, where light gets scattered by particles in the mixture. And this is how we can see headlights from a car on a foggy night. Colloids can be classified into many different types, sol, emulsion, foam, aerosol, and more all based on the physical states of the colloidal particles and the dispersed medium. So, where can we find colloids in everyday life? Number 5. Milk This is a rather boring example, but we see milk every day. Milk is an emulsion type of colloid where tiny globs of butter fat is dispersed in water. Number 4. Gemstone Gemstone is a solid sol type of colloid where solid particles such as tiny crystals are dispersed in another solid. Number 3. Styrofoam Styrofoam is a solid foam type of colloid where gas particles are trapped in the solid. Number 2. Blood Blood is a sol type of colloid composed of red blood cells white blood cells, and lymphocytes suspended in plasma. Number 1. Coronavirus in the air Coronavirus floating in the air is an aerosol type of colloid where tiny particles are dispersed in gas medium, namely the air. Due to its small size, aerosol tend to stay and linger in the air longer, especially when the air is stagnant in enclosed spaces. That's it for today. If you learned something new, give this video a like, share it with your friends, and smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much.